But in August 2006, Belinda, Valmik and Raghu were finally vindicated. The Indian government itself had sent a team to investigate Project Tiger. It concluded poachers were killing three out of every five Indian tigers. The investigation was equally damning about the way Project Tiger estimated numbers. The hard-hitting report concluded Project Tiger was a flawed organization, which, together with state governments, had failed to take adequate measures to preserve the tiger. In September 2006, Project Tiger was scrapped, replaced by the new National Tiger Conservation Authority. The new authority is significantly weaker. Its officials will no longer have the ability to designate special areas for tigers or enforce them. Power over tiger issues passes to district councils and local people. Only time will tell whether this will help save the tigers. It's a far cry from the ambitious conservation measures envisaged when Indira Gandhi set up Project Tiger in 1973. The man in charge of devising Project Tiger is now the most senior politician in India's governing party, Dr. Karan Singh. The poachers are having a field day. Now, once all the tigers disappear, they'll never come back. Also, the government of India itself, the weakness lies here because this is the, the motive force. Why, why were we successful? Because Indira Gandhi's political will was behind it. And everybody knew around the country that if something goes wrong, Indira Gandhi was there and was going to take them to task. But um, uh, I don't think that the government of India as such today has that sort of commitment or that sort of passion. The, if the current decline continues and if we are unable to reverse the process, then it is only a matter of time before the tiger disappears. Searching for the inflated numbers obtained by the Pugmark method is a mistake that has come back to haunt government officials. The last published estimate, 3,773 tigers, dates from 2002. Valmik believes the true number may now be under 1,200, fewer animals than when Project Tiger began in 1973. I think we are living with the last tigers of India. Their future will be determined whether our governments can come up with a miracle. And it's important to know that forest land is controlled by government. If the government wants to save tigers, it can. If it doesn't want to save tigers, it will allow them to go extinct. So the responsibility is 100% on government. We need much better protection. We need transparency in management and research. I mean, our knowledge level is very, very low about tigers. <laughs>